Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Classes. So this video is the part 4 of the Pandas tutorial and in this video we will see how we can rename the columns and the index name. So why we need for renaming the columns and index name? Sometimes the column names are not appropriate for the values that it contains. So we need to rename the columns. And also sometimes it contains some unnecessary words or anything else that we have to rename. So we can rename the columns as well as the index. So we have imported this data frame that we have also used in previous lectures. So I hope you have seen the previous lectures also in which I have discussed about how to create the series and data frame, how to import the data set into the notebook. Also, what are the different basic functionality and after then how we can select some particular columns and rows from the data set. These things we have discussed in the previous lecture. Now let's see how to rename any column or index. So first we will see the renaming columns. So to rename the columns, there is a simple function called rename. And that rename function will work with the data frame. So we have imported the data frame here and it is stored in the df variable. So we can use df.rename. This is the rename function. So we can call the rename function using the data frame. So it's df.rename. And if you want to rename the columns, you have to first write columns and then equals to. And in this, you have to pass the dictionary. So I hope everyone have learned about the dictionary in Python. Dictionary is something that will store the data in a key value pair. So here, the key will be old column name. And the value will be the new column name. So we can pass the old column name as the key. Suppose we want to change the n days column name to number of days. So n days to number of days. Now if I run this, then you will see now the n days will be renamed with the number of days. But if you again print the data frame, then you will see it is the old name. So if you want to make the changes in the original data frame, then you have to pass the parameter in place equals to true. So this will make the changes in the original data frame and it will not return anything if you pass the in place equals to true. Also, if you want to rename more than one column name, for example, I want to change also this decimal column to again the year 2 column and if I just run this and again run this the original data frame then you can see now the decimal is changed to the year 2 and n days is changed to the number of days so that is how you can rename any columns now let's see how we can rename the index for renaming the index the same function you will use but in place of the columns you will pass here the index you have to pass here index and then equals to so whatever you want to rename you can pass columns or index and in this index also you have to pass the dictionary and dictionary will contain the old index name as the key and the new index name as the value so let's suppose first i will set a index let's suppose i just set the index using this function set index i have also explained this in previous lecture so set index function will take one column as a parameter and set the index with that parameter with that column so i just want to make this column as my new index and i will pass here in place equals to true to make the changes in the original data frame and then again I will print the df. Now you can see the new index is the 10 years ago column. Now I want to change this minus 99, 999 to 1000. Let's suppose 1000. So what I can do is df dot rename and then index. In index, so it's a float number so we can just directly pass it like this and 
I have to change this with thousand. And again in place equals to if I just check the data frame now you can see the negative 9099 is changed to 1000. That is how also you can change the index name. You can also replace this as zero. For example, if I just do this thousand and then zero, and you can see the thousand is now replaced with the zero. And you can also rename more than one index at a time in the dictionary. You can pass the another key value pair in the dictionary that will also get renamed. That is how you can simply rename the column names as well as the index. Also, the column names renaming is very helpful when we get the raw data, when you are performing the projects and data analysis project, then sometimes it may happen that the column names have contained the unnecessary spaces between them. And when we try to load the columns, then it will give us error. So it is also helpful to just remove the spaces by renaming the columns. So that's all for this video. I hope you understand how we can rename the columns and the index. Thank you.